Hello, everyone, and welcome into some Marquette Takeaways. I'm Jack Phillips alongside Shane Hogan. We're breaking down Marquette's 85-65 to win over the Xavier Musketeers in another Big East battle. Again, Jack Phillips alongside Shane Hogan. Shane, thanks for being here. Jack, always a pleasure, my man. So, Shane, we were on hand for that game. It was pretty much a dominant performance from the Golden Eagles all around. What were your overall takeaways from that one? Yeah, I mean, this was a game that I think Marquette and their fans were looking at as one they had to get. You know, they started 1-3 and three in conference play. They were going against another struggling team in Xavier, so they circled this one as a game they had to get. They took care of business, led by Marcus Howard once again with 35 points, and uh, it was an impressive performance. They pr- played pretty clean. The bench players stepped up, and uh, they had to get that win at home or their Big East conference schedule was going to get even worse. So um, good win, got to move forward. And they did that without both Greg Elliott and Ed Morrow, who's taking a personal leave of absence. Yeah, we found that out right before the tip tonight that Ed is leaving the program indefinitely. Coach Wojo said in the press conference after the game that the team doesn't have any more information on that. So we'll just kind of see where that plays out. But right now, no Ed Morrow for the team. So Jace Johnson, Theo John um, are the two big guys that are going to get a lot of minutes now. So it's crucial that Theo stays out of foul trouble. And they both uh, played really well tonight. A lot of production from the bigs, which hasn't been the case this season. And regardless, looking ahead for Marquette, they played Georgetown. Give me a quick prediction for that game. Yeah, I think you know they traveled to Georgetown this weekend. It's another game they have to win if they want to right the ship on their conference conference season. Mac McClung and Georgetown is going to be ready to go, but um, I think this is one Marquette can get. Marcus Howard loves playing on the road, so he, he's going to stay hot, I think. Yeah, I'm kind of 50-50 right now. I really don't know if Marquette's going to win that game or not, but regardless, thanks for being here, Shane. Yeah. Don't forget to catch the baseline and the recaps by following at MJ Yezo on Twitter and, of course, at Zoe underscore Comerford, and always follow us at MUR Sports. Again, Shane Hogan and Jack Phillips will have more coverage throughout the entire season. Again, thanks for joining us.